Hello, lovies. Welcome back to Thy Kingdom Come, Matthew 6 and 33 and Ladija's Creations. Lovies, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time to click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. It said we're on your side. Lord, have mercy. Mm. <laughs> Lord, hold my mirror while I get up off the floor. Woo! They said we're on your side. They also said we want to treat you fairly. Lord, they don't even know what treating people fairly is all about. They're so busy about trying to create their own agendas while they're distracting you and bringing in a one world government and a new world order. And some people are so blind and they cannot see it. That reminds me of the scripture in the Bible where the Lord said, if you choose to believe a lie, I will send you an even stronger delusion for you to believe that lie. They don't care about us. They don't, they're, they're not on our side. So don't be fooled and don't believe this. They are not on your side, okay? When they're telling you to look at their left hand, you better be looking at the right hand to see how far the rear it is. Hold on a second. I'm getting ready to show you what distractions came in and where they are right now. So when you think about it, don't be fooled into believing that they're on your side. And they're doing things for your betterment because they are not. They are always creating their own vision in details. And this is the other distraction that they're distracting you guys with. And then they're sitting back at the tables calling people morons. How moronic is that? I think it's such a sad day and time when the church is supposed to be woke and watching but they're somewhere asleep and reaping the benefits of the world while the government is ushering them on into the den of Satan's lair. The Lord told us to be watchful and to pray so that we wouldn't fall into diverse temptations. But the church has fallen asleep. They need to wake up. They're helping to support Satan's agenda by supporting this one world government and this new world order with their QR codes, their social credit scores, these VAX passports, and monopoly over our money and our families. All of this is discussed in the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 13, and in the book of Daniel. Revelation chapter 13 tells you about how the Antichrist is going to cause both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, which is 666, and 666 represents the number of a man. Do y'all think they were just giving y'all out money, just to be giving you money? <laughs> they weren't just giving you money. They was counting everyone in your household and they're linking your data together so that every entity can be connected and every transaction that you make can be tracked and traced. They're distracting you. And then they're telling you, we're on your side. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Do not believe it. On July 21st, 2021, your president was talking about canceling the credit bureaus. Yes, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. I know a lot of people would probably be getting excited, jumping up. Oh, okay, we're, we're not going to have to be going by credit scores. Really? I told you, don't believe it. The credit bureaus are private companies profiting off of your credit report. They take and sell their services and your information to mortgage lenders, banks, credit card companies, and anyone that you want to get a line of credit from. Either way you put it, somebody is going to profit from it. Whether it's the credit bureau or the government, someone is going to make a profit. But see, President Biden is talking about uh, canceling the credit bureau, but he's also going to enact another entity to take over, which is called the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Come on now. Do you really believe that this is all about the consumer? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Wake up, people. And when you wake up, you better look at your rear end. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is supposed to be put in place so that they can make sure that the financial companies treat you fairly. 
<laughs> How noble and self-serving. <laughs> really, people, this is all about that social credit score that they're trying to create all around the world. China already has it. And believe me and you, this second one is going to be worse than the first. And this social credit score is going to be judging you based on whether or not you are in compliance with doing whatever they tell you to do. And whenever you don't comply or do whatever they're asking you to do, then your credit score is going to go down. People, we have to wake up and we have to begin to demand our rights. People, we have to begin to stand up and demand our rights. We need to stand up for justice because they can do nothing without us. We are the one who holds the power to create change. The power is in the hands of the people. And as long as you go along and comply with them, you're not going to be treated fairly. And they are not looking out for your benefit. It's all about profit. It's all about their agenda and ruling over mankind. And that is what God is totally against. He told mankind what they were to rule over in Genesis chapter 2. And mankind was never a part of that rulership where another man is to rule over another man. God was specific as to what mankind was supposed to have rulership over. Just know that you're going to be played every time that you're not in compliance with their agenda. It is never a good thing when the government is involved in your financial business. Of course, in the beginning, it always looked like it's for your benefit. But believe me, it is not. And we need to begin to demand that the government remain in the place of authority that we have elected them for. People, whether you can see this or not, this is all about Satan's agenda. And we have to know that we are in a spiritual warfare. Warfare. Where we have to put on the whole armor of God. Kingdom citizens, we must put on that armor. We must stay prayed up and we must talk with God because prayer is you being in constant communication with God. And it's also with you allowing the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of you to constantly teach and guide you and to bring you into all truth. The Holy Spirit will help you to know what you are to say and what you are to do. But you must put on that whole armor of God. And we also must know that the weapons of our warfare is not carnal, but mighty unto God at the pulling down of strongholds. Stay prayed up. Because when you look at your rear end, it'll be too late. They've already distracted you with their pandemic, which was all a part of the grand master plan to govern your every move in the financial areas of banking, in the healthcare industry, in education, in the area of agriculture, of farming, and in the entertainment arenas. They said, we're on your side. No, they're not. They're on the side of what benefits government and you're just a casualty of their calamity. You're the fallout after the blank hits the fan. Hey guys, I know those of you who follow the word of God know that God shortened the time of the Antichrist to have rulership from three and a half years to five and a half months. And we know that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years. So the five and a half months can be an undetermined amount of time. And after all, his time is in our time, nor are his ways our ways. So. If you're looking for a physical Jesus to return, don't be. And <laughs> let me say this. I know a lot of people are going to be looking for a physical Jesus, but I hate to bust your bubble. But his return is going to be back in the spirit of his truth. As a matter of fact, I was looking for a physical Jesus too. As a matter of fact, I was praying. I was like, Lord, where are you? Where are you? You're supposed to come back. And then I saw an image of the Lord standing in front of me with one hand on his hip. And he gave me that dumb look like, you ought to know better. And at that time, I didn't understand it until the Holy Spirit revealed it to me. He were like, hello, I'm on the inside of you. Hello, 
Can't you see me? I'm a spirit. Remember, my spirit is my truth and my truth is my word. I'm supposed to show up on the inside of my people. Remember, my kingdom is not of this world. But I told you all to pray for my kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. And when we began to stand up for righteousness and for justice and for the truth of God's word to be an example and a demonstration manifesting itself in our daily lives or how we're supposed to live here on earth. Jesus used to say, when you've seen me, you've seen my father. And we were created in God's image and in his likeness. We're supposed to do the same thing that Jesus did and greater, according to the word of God. And Jesus came to stamp out Satan's ignorance, for Satan is the ruler of darkness. Darkness represents ignorance, and Jesus is the light of the world. Light represents knowledge, information, and power. So how are we to stamp out Satan's ignorance? It's through the teachings of God's word and by his will being done on earth as it is in heaven. And Levis, I just want to take this time to touch upon this cryptocurrency that is coming into play. Levis, we have to think about things before we just jump on them and jump on the bandwagon and, and start to be a part of things. You know, the root word of crypto is crypt. And I've always associated a crypt with death, even from a young age. Well, crypto in Latin means carere. And carere means to run. That right there alone should tell people that they should not invest in death. And as I further went on to define crypt, I found this definition right here, that it is a chamber such as a vault, wholly or partly underground, especially a vault under the main floor of a church. Get that. Wow. Get that. Under the main floor of a church. Didn't I tell y'all that the church is assisting Satan's agenda and he has a place already prepared for them right up under the church if they don't wake up. Love you. So on that note, it's time to go. I love you guys. And I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today and come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21. Now, is that not moronic? Wake up, people. It's time out for sleeping.